If you have a weak truck cap gas strut, you can recharge it in under 15 minutes by adding a Schrader valve and pumping up with a shock pump for bicycles. This goes up to 400 PSI and cost me 24 bucks US. The rest of this video is details. To get the job done, harvest a Schrader valve off an old inner tube, scrape the rubber off with a knife, and then polish the end clean with some sandpaper. Unscrew the end off the strut, remove the valve from the Schrader valve, polish the end of the strut where the Schrader will go and make sure that it's a location which won't interfere with the final operation. Drill a hole which will be snug for this and then tap out any metal filings that might have got in there. Squirt in a little bit of oil uh, which will go down to the end of the tube and solder in, well, stick this in just uh, just about uh, the metal wall thickness, it doesn't need to go in any further than that. Solder it with flux and paste using a plumber's torch the way you would copper tubing and let it cool, screw that back on, put the valve in and pump it up. In my case I went up to 350 psi and that worked fine. These struts don't have a piston inside them, they do have a guide that I haven't shown. But the idea is that when the arm goes into the high pressure volume, it reduces that volume according to the gas law, which is pressure times volume equals density of the gas times temperature. So the density is uh, um, not going to change and the temperature is not going to change at any given moment. So uh, when the volume goes down, the pressure goes up. And the force pushing back is the force on the cross section of the arm. The density of air relative to the density of nitrogen is only 3.4% more. So putting nitrogen in your tires is, uh, doesn't really make sense. And uh, putting air in one of these struts is just fine. The gas spring on the left is from a truck cap. And the gas spring on the right is from a minivan rear hatch. So the, for a given pressure, the lifting force is proportional to the cross-sectional area of the arm. So this one is 7 millimeters diameter. This one is 10 millimeters diameter. 10 over 7 squared equals 2. So for the same pressure in these cylinders, the minivan gas spring can provide twice the lifting force. So the cross-sectional area of the minivan arm is about 0.12 square inches. So for my little 400 PSI pump, the maximum lifting force that I could charge the minivan strut to is only 49 pounds force, which is not enough for any minivan. You would need a bigger pump, but it works fine for a truck cap. It really did take under 30 minutes to repair both of these gas springs, which is less time than it would have taken to figure out the replacement SKU number and then go and get a set.